Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to discuss a topic that people contact me a lot about and it's binge eating. I get emails, a lot of emails from people asking me how can they control that binge eating that once they start they can't stop and they're always trying to control it and they just feel like it's you know it's just this crazy mountain to be climbing and if I had any suggestions or ways that that someone can finally just let it go and move on from it and this is a great question and I, I have to say this is something I'm quite passionate about because I've worked with a lot of people with this and I've actually seen the one thing that really does the most okay and this is the one thing that interesting enough a lot of times people are very resistant to okay I would say 95% of the people that I've met and that I've worked with that had any kind of binge eating disorder or just compulsively overeating is that 95% of them in the back of their mind or while they're binging they have a dialogue with themselves about starting a diet the next day it's kind of like they're in the throes of like overeating and they're eating everything in the fridge and they're out at the grocery store buying the cake and the cookies and the pizza and in the back of their mind they're telling themselves okay I'm gonna do this now but tomorrow I'm gonna to do that diet tomorrow I'm never gonna be eating junk food again tomorrow I'm gonna to do that fast tomorrow I'm gonna to, I'm gonna not eat anything tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna start over okay and, and I would say 95% of the people that I've worked with are having that dialogue while they're binge eating or while they're in the throes of it or getting ready for it okay and the issue with that is is that it, by by sort of planning this, this diet or this restrictive diet or the fasting or the starving is that in the back of their mind they see that as a remedy they see that as a way of sort of countering any of the effects of overeating the day before or the night before or the week before or the months before is that they feel that it's kind of like they give themselves the green light to go ahead and have the binge or to continue with the binge because they're telling themselves tomorrow's going to be a different day and tomorrow they're going to not eat anything or barely anything so that whatever weight they put on from their binge is going to be somehow <laughs> Sort of dissolved from doing either the restrictive diet or the fasting you know and, and that that itself is going to remedy the situation and unfortunately over and over again this backfires and unfortunately as well is that people get caught in this cycle where they binge and then they starve they binge they starve and and whether they're fully starving themselves or they're just doing some sort of diet that's so restrictive that it is a form of starving or they're doing too much fasting in between their binges all of that is depleting them and actually kind of perpetuating the problem because they overeat, then they undereat, and then the undereating forces them to overeat again, and then the overeating forces them to starve themselves again. And it's a terrible, terrible, terrible cycle to get into. And, and anyone that's been in it knows just how much it destroys not only someone's body, but their self esteem and their self worth. Okay? And, and it's like, and their whole life becomes about that. You know, it's always in the back of their mind. It's like, when's the next binge or when's the next starvation diet? And they get consumed in it. And so how do you get yourself out of it? Well, I'd have to say the number one thing that works, I would say for the majority of people, and I know a lot of people hate hearing this, is I would say is making a deal with yourself that you don't do any diet, no fasting, no starvation, no nothing for at least one year. 12 months straight that you say from this moment till next year I'm not doing any kind of cleanse I'm not doing any kind of fasting I'm not doing any kind of restrictive diet nothing you're not changing your eating plan okay and that you by doing this and it's hard maybe to see it now <laughs> but what ends up happening is that when you do have a binge and you're not allowed to fast the next day and you're not allowed to have a diet and you're not allowed to cut things out of your 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 routine is that you actually have to take responsibility for the repercussions of your actions. Okay, you need to actually, it'll force you to feel what you're really doing to your body. Because when someone's binging and then the next day they're starving, is that they might feel lousy the first day that they're starving, but the day after that, they don't, you know, it's, it's, if they're not eating much, then they're not feeling just how much that food has affected their body because they're starving it off. And if you're not allowed to starve it off, then you have to feel for a few days just, just how much you're hurting yourself by overeating and by binging 
physically. And a lot of times we're actually feeling the effects. That could be one way to help you move in the direction of, of not having those binges, of learning that you can choose to have a binge or not, especially if you're forced to, to feel lousy the next day. And that if you're forced not to be able to have some sort of speedy weight loss to, to take off any of the pounds that you're taking on from that binge. And so over time, it might not be immediate, but over time, if someone not, doesn't allow them to do any kind of fasting or starving or cleanse after they've had a binge, is that over time, they do notice that they're less inclined to be doing it just because there's no way out of it. They have to face themselves. They have to feel what it's really doing to them. And no one wants to feel lousy. No one wants to have such a bad stomach ache from the food that they're eating and not being able to sleep and feeling like they're constantly carrying more and more weight on them. No one likes that feeling. And in fact, sometimes by feeling that bad and getting to that lowest point, that's what perhaps can help pick someone up and get themselves out of that hole. You know, but it's, it's about not numbing it, but feeling it, embracing it, and learning that and accepting it. Because sometimes instead of running away from it or putting a bandage on it or numbing it out, and instead actually feeling the pain, feeling just everything that comes with, with that binge and with that lack of control and with all of that and what you're physically doing to your body, can you actually see it for what it is and start accepting it and start taking care of yourself, start loving yourself through it, start healing yourself. But it's seeing it that way. Instead of running from it, run to it, to embrace it and to take care of it. So that's pretty much my suggestion is if you do find yourself constantly binge eating and overeating and you just feel like you can't control it and you're always reaching for the next cleanse and the next diet and the next fast and the next starvation mode, <laughs> stop and say to yourself, make a deal with yourself, I'm not doing a diet again for the next six months, the next 12 months, minimum. No way, no fasting, no starving, no nothing, six to 12 months. And just do that and just let go of that for now and to see what happens and not to be scared of it and not to resist it either but just make that as sort of the promise you make to yourself over the next six to twelve months and then see where that takes you because you might actually be surprised to see that yeah the first week the first few weeks might feel a little bit strange and you might feel like uh -uh, i need to be doing a fast i need to control this binging but you might notice that after a while things actually start changing. And the decisions you make with your food starts changing. And you do actually, instead of trying to control something, you naturally are able to handle things. Sometimes trying to control everything is what is sabotaging you in the first place. Okay, so do this experiment, try it out. You might actually be pleasantly surprised. All right, so that's my tip for today. And if anyone actually needs extra help and support and, and wants a coach, I mean, that's what I do for a living. So you can always go to my website at Radiant Central. I do telephone coaching and I help people with their diet and coaching them as well with their lifestyle. So go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on coaching, and there's more information there. I'm wishing everyone a super fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.